Hi Leo, this is your behind the scenes reading for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August 2022. Show me. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo. Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Leo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Leo, clarify the fool. For Leo, clarify the fool. For Leo, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So listen, Leo, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation. And it's because someone took a risk or a chance here, okay, and caused this betrayal. And so you're confronting them. Ay, 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 Leo, <clears throat> you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Leo, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Leo, clarify judgment. For Leo, clarify judgment. For Leo, it is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Leo, you guys could have had some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama here. Or you're telling me you're conflicted within, okay? So maybe someone's judgment has caused some type of argument. However, Leo, they could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance and you're conflicted within or rather not you want to give it to them, okay? I know you want to give them an earful. Okay, so Leo, <clears throat> you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Leo, 
it is clarified with the eight of swords gemini libra aquarius this is you feeling stuck like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or you're blocking communication. Now, you very well could be feeling stuck because maybe you're conflicted within on whether or not to forgive them, okay? However, you can tell me that, yes, they're coming in to ask for forgiveness and a second chance and you're giving them an earful here, okay? And maybe even just blocking their apology, okay? You don't even want to hear it. So listen, Leo, you have the fool again. Like I said, you could be dealing with an Aries. But you can tell me that, hey, you just want to up and do something, take a leap of faith, set out on a brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Leo. Clarify the fool for Leo. Clarify the fool for Leo. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So listen, Leo could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords for Leo. Clarify the King of Swords for Leo. Clarify the King of Swords for Leo. It is clarified with the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Leo. Clarify the world for Leo. Clarify the world for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic. And using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. You can tell me you're initiating something here. This can be passionate communication romantic passion or a heated discussion or argument or starting a passionate new beginning now listen you can tell me hey i just want to go ahead and take this leap of faith make this decision to come back around again because they're asking for forgiveness and a second chance and starting a passionate new beginning with this person however leo you can tell me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys's relationship and you're making a decision to close out this cycle because you guys are having this passionate heated discussion or argument you could also tell me that you're closing out the cycle because someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. I just don't know what this betrayal is. They could have took a risk or a chance in you guys as a relationship, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they had a third party. You guys could have just gotten into a heated discussion or argument over this risk or chance that they took. Leo, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Leo, new love, new start to love, or a blessing? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the sun. This is you, Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Leo, this is you. Clarify the sun for Leo. Clarify the sun for Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the sun for Leo. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money so leo listen you could be waiting on money looking at your coins looking at your bank account however i feel like you're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship and start new with this person because they're coming in with this cup they're coming in to apologize they're asking for forgiveness and a second chance so you're kind of stuck and maybe conflicted within and just thinking long and hard whether or not you want to go back there with this person after some type of betrayal leo this is your behind the scenes reading for august 2000 2022 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace